Hey there fans, welcome to another project update. As usual, we go over all of our accomplishments from the prior month and we kind of recap where we're at and where we're going, what's coming down the pipeline. But before we get into it, guys, I have a special, special announcement uh, and I'll tell you what's going on with the project and how it's interacting. But our special announcement is we have a new member to the Transformers Prime family and we have my new baby daughter, baby Valentina. So she is going to be helping me with a lot of things on this project. <laughs> All right, so that is actually one of the reasons why I was not able to get our Q&A session done. Uh, and so um, our baby was born like the third week of April and that's kind of around when I wanted to do it. I also seem to have misplaced my list of questions. So there was, it was twofold, but well, I'll look for it or redo the list this month and I'll be able to uh, get that to you guys. But okay, let's go ahead and get into the project. Um, what was completed uh, in the prior month? So we completed the scene, the smoothing uh, for scene 16, both the smoothing and the visual effects. Obviously, you guys uh, know that that's coming up. So that's been completed. Uh, scene 15, the sound effects and the score were taken care of. Uh, thankfully, Nolan was able to jump back in uh, and help us out with that. Uh, it looks like his uh, personal storm has passed and he is back on track with us. Uh, very thankful, very appreciative of that. And obviously scene 15 was uploaded and taken care of. We'll talk about the details on that in the special topic section. Uh, we did take care of the character bio for Wheeljack. That was done. Um, so yeah, so that covers our accomplishments in the prior month. Now, what's ongoing? So far we're working on, or I need to work on, the visual effects for scene 16. I'm going to concentrate this particular week on getting that taken care of. Um, meanwhile, Nolan and James have already begun a template uh, specifically for the score. Uh, I, what I wanted Nolan to do is take care of the score. That's obviously the, uh, he's got the, uh, the file that he needs to do that. The sound effects is going to take some time as I add visual effects. He's going to base those sound effects off of the visual effects. Um, so uh, I'll get that to him by the end of this week. Um, I did want to let you guys know that Vicky, so what I've done with Vicky is um, last month I reported that she had finished scene 1810, the blocking of it. And what I've had her work on is I need scene 18, which is the construction um, environment, which you guys saw in scene 14, that that construction environment needs, there's certain things that need to be destroyed in it. So she's working on that destruction so that um, when I jump into scene um, 1811 and 1812, um, it'll make sense, right? So she's about 80% done with that. What's next? Um, uh, once I'm done with the, um, with the visual effects for scene 16, I'm actually going to jump into smoothing scene 17. Shouldn't take me that long. It's a very similar scene to scene 15 as far as length goes. Um, after that, I do plan on getting into 18 2. Um, really need to start chopping down 18 so that I don't have to animate what's unnecessary. And I've actually already started to kind of edit it, if you will. Um, and then we are also going to work on or do uh, the Bruticus char character bio. We're going to do that sometime this month, more so like more so uh, around the middle of the month. Uh, it's a new um, character bio. We haven't done his tech spec before. Vicky just made it. Um, so we'll be uh, releasing that middle of this month. So be on the lookout for that. All right, special topics. Let's talk about scene 15. Uh, what did you guys like about it? Um, we we see something really uh, important happening here. We see Ratchet finding a way down to the core of Cybertron. Uh, he manages to access uh, the core and inside the core is the spirit of Primus, if you will. Um, the scene, once it's rendered out, it's going to look really, really cool. I'm going to add um, a, a screen capture render um, of, of what that particular scene looks like once it is rendered. I, you'll see a lot of gray in the background uh, of, the, uh, of the file itself, but it's not, it's not actually like that. Once we render it out, it's like completely white. It's very reminiscent to when Optimus Prime um, met with Alpha Trion and um, when he touched the uh, Star Saber. Very, very similar to that type of a feel and effect. So hopefully you can see that in the image that I'm posting now. Um, so 
that's what the final output will look like. So be mindful of that as, as you're looking at scene 15. Um, but again, that, that's, that's the scene. Uh, again, tell me what you guys liked about it, where you guys think it's going. How do you guys like so far? We are now 15 scenes into the project. We've only got four more left. So uh, how do you guys feel as far as the, uh, how things are flowing and progressing? Are you guys excited? Are you guys enjoying it? Are you guys looking forward to the finales? Um, what do you think is gonna happen next, right? Um, what else, what else? Scene 16, scene 16, we're gonna post that on the 25th of this month, which is the last Saturday. Again, 11 a.m. hour, or my time, I should say, Eastern time. Um, so be on the lookout for that. Uh, the continuation of scene of, of our movie with scene 16. And what we do is we head on back, we go from Cybertron and we head on back to our construction site where the Autobots are squaring off with Bruticus, right? So be on the lookout for that. Um, I do wanna mention that as we are approaching the end of this particular project, you guys uh, know that uh, I've been working on the side or I shouldn't say working on the side, but trying to push things along with the sequel. We've had a couple of characters done uh, as far as their character sheets, right? Uh, we've had some characters modeled out. We've got uh, Grimlock, um, Swoop, um, Arachnid, Black Arachnia. Um, so we've got a number of different uh, characters that have already been modeled out 3D wise. Uh, we have uh, just this week acquired two new artists who have agreed to come on and help with the sequel. One is a 3D modeler, uh, and the other is going to be uh, an environmental artist. Once uh, I officially have their um, non-disclosure agreement signed, I will go ahead and um, let you guys know who those are um, and who they're working, who what they're working on next. Um, so that'll that'll come on the pipeline. So that's pretty exciting news, right? We're going to start to progress. We're going to start to look at. Um, building uh, the building blocks, if you will, of the sequel. Uh, we're gonna start, the story's already done, so we're gonna start with storyboarding. Um, obviously, we've got the character designs that are still uh, being taken care of. Got a number of characters that still need to be designed. Uh, right off the top of my head, I'm gonna say uh, maybe about eight characters that still need to be designed. Um, some of them are in the works now. I have about uh, three of them three that are that have been sketched out um, and need to be finalized so be on the lookout for that I think by next month I'll have some new um, some new designs to show off I'm not going to be showing off everything because I do want to keep some surprises for you guys so just know and be mindful that whatever I release is what I'm releasing for you guys to know uh, I'm not going to show all of my cards all at once right um, but that just adds on to the excitement. It adds on to the mystery and hopefully the, uh, you know, you guys will be looking forward to those little surprises as they come. Um, uh, again, still moving on with the sequel. I will be meeting with Vicky once she's done with, uh, prepping this scene for me, uh, and some other character bios. Um, I'm going to be sitting down with her and starting to, um, pass down the ideas up here, passing them to her so that we can start putting it on paper. And again, we can start uh, to work on a, star a storyboard for our sequel film. So we look to, as we look to finish this project this year, we hope that next year we'll fine tweak some things, you know, maybe within the first two months of the year, and then we render everything out. And once we render everything out, we'll compile everything and we'll burn it onto our Blu-rays and we'll be sending that off to the people who have contributed what we've talked about on our GoFundMe. Our GoFundMe is still going on. Um, we, we're, I'm, I'm inching closer to making the decision. Um, I, think I, I've, 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 I think I've made the decision on what I want, so I'm looking to do that within the next couple of months. As a matter of fact, I spoke to a friend of mine. Uh, I let him know what I was looking for, and he's going to talk to a, a good um, IT guy, a friend of his, who's an excellent IT guy, and see if we can we can um, get the hardware that we need so that we can render this out. So we're getting there. But I do want to let you guys know our GoFundMe campaign is, is still there. Uh, if you guys are looking to contribute, if you're able to, right? Um, you know, again, if you do $50 US more or more, right, you will get a DVD, uh, Blu-ray, uh, excuse me, a Blu-ray as a gift, as a thank you gift from us. 
and that'll have the rendered version as well as the unrendered version. And we're also gonna throw some cool stuff in there. Mike and I had talked a couple of months ago about what we can burn into that, that Blu-ray, right? Some extra stuff. I don't know, maybe some deleted scenes. Uh, maybe we'll you know do some other stuff. Maybe we'll throw in there some of the uh, test animation that we've done. I don't know, we'll, we'll do some cool stuff and add some bonuses in there for sure. Um, so yeah, guys, so, so that's pretty much it. Don't forget, again, scene 16 will be released on the 25th of this month. Uh, continue to stay with us as we continue to progress through the story. Um, you know, again, we're, we're almost at the end. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully you guys are really enjoying the way this story is flowing. Hopefully this is building excitement for you guys. And, and, and this is a taste of what we're capable of. The, the sequel, right? Um, we've obviously learned from a lot of our mistakes, right? And uh, we're gonna progress, right? You're gonna see more fluidity, more, um, more things that are cool, more things that, are, that seem and flow natural. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to getting started on the sequel. I hope you guys are looking forward to not only finishing this, uh, this particular project, but moving on towards the next. Guys, that's all I have for you guys. Thank you so, so much for joining in. Uh, I'll see you guys next time for our character bio and hopefully our Q&A this month. Guys, take care. Peace out. Bye-bye. Till all are one.